Hi. Hi. This is Doc Mountain, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time visiting this channel, I urge you to go ahead and smash the subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that anytime I happen to go live, you happen to be notified. Without any further ado, let's get into things. In our <clears throat> today's lesson, we are going to look at uh, differentiation by the chain rule, which is actually a subtopic that falls under calculus. So now, this chain rule, what you need to know is that it's actually applied when you're dealing with a composite function. When you're dealing with composite functions. Now, how do you apply it? Let's look at examples so that you get to learn how this is applied. So now we have an outside function and we have an inside function. Equally, in the second example, we have an outside function and an inside function. So now when resolving this, this is how you go about it. Uh, so what you need to do is you have to let there are two functions here. You have to let one of the function be u. So you say let u equal to. We are letting one of the two functions because this is a composite function. We will let the inside function equal to u. So u is equal to the inside function. What is on the inside? That's x raised to the power of 4 plus 1. And then we'll say y is equal to. Now, the outside function. So that is 2. Now, remember, what's on the inside is actually equated to u. So that is u. So we're going to write u here. But u is raised to the power 2. After having done this, you have let the inside function be u and then the outside function be y. After you've done that, you need to differentiate these two functions. If you haven't seen the first video, I urge, you, I urge you to check them out so that you get to know how to differentiate functions using the power rule because that's the one that we're going to apply here. All right. So now from here, I'll start by differentiating the first function. So the first function will be dif differentiated as follows. That will be du. This is u. This is actually the variable u, and then there is x there. So we are differentiating u with respect to x. du dx is equal to, remember when you're dealing with the power rule, what happens is the power drops that side, you multiply it by x, so that will be 4 times x, that will be 4x. Then from the same power, you subtract 1, so that will be 4 minus 1, that will be the 3. Then when you differentiate one, that will equate to zero. So it's, it's better we don't even write it here. That's equal to zero. We, we're going to have z plus zero. But when we add zero to that, it will still be four x raised to the power two. So we have found du dx here. The next thing that you have to do is to differentiate the second function. So that is, we have y and we have u. So we're going to differentiate uh, this function by differentiating y with respect to u. So that will be dy du is equal to. The 2 will drop this side and multiply it by 2. So that will be 4u. Then 2 minus 1, that will be 1. But in most cases, we don't write the 1. So those are the two derivatives of the functions that we have actually derived from the main function, which is the composite function. Now, after you found this, for you now to find the derivative of the composite function, you need to make use of this. You say dy, then there's x here, there's y, the rate of change of y, with respect to the rate of change of x, so it will be dy dx is equal to, you bring in this du dx times dy du. So du dx times uh, dy du. So now, since we've already found the derivatives of uh, the function u and the function y, 
We simplify again the values. So we say dy dx is equal to. So dy du is this one here. That is 4x raised to the power 3 times dy du is actually 4u. But I'm going to write this to say but u is equal to, we go back to the origin, u was led to equal to x raised to the power 4 plus 1. Uh, so now I'm going to plug in these values in here. So the answer now will be here, it will be the way it is, times 4, then we write x raised to the power 4 plus 1. You see that? So now, what is on the outside can be multiplied by what's on the inside there. So that would be 4x raised to the power 3 times, that would be 4 times uh, x raised to the power 4, that would be 4x raised to the power 4 plus 4. We can now expand everything by multiplying what's on the outside by what's on the inside. So 4x raised to the power 3 times 4, x raised to the power 4. If the bases are the same, what you need to do is to simply add the powers. So 4 times 4, that's 16. Then x, 3 plus 4, that's 7. Then plus 4 times 4, that would be 16x raised to the power 3. So that is actually the derivative of the composite function which is here. That's how you go about it. Let's look at the second example. When we do the second example, you'll be able to answer any problem that has to do with differentiation of functions or composite functions by virtue of applying the chain rule. All right, so equally, here you have to let, select, which one are we letting? We are letting the inside function be u. So let u equal to, the inside function is that one here, 4x raised to the power 3 plus x to the power 3 plus 2. And then y will equal to the outside function. Now the outside function is actually 3. Remember this has been related to be u. So that would be u raised to the power 2. After you've done this, the next thing you have to do is you have to differentiate these two functions. You've separated them. So that would be du, this one. The rate of change of u with respect to the rate of change of x. du dx is equal to. We are using the power rule here. 3 will drop and be multiplied by 4. That would be 12x raised to the power 2 plus. Then 3 will drop here. That would be 3x. Then 3 minus 1, that would be a 2. Remember when you differentiate the constant, the answer is 0. So that would be plus 0. But we know when we add 0 to anything, it would be anything that is added to 0. We are done with this one. That's the derivative of the function here. How about this one? We need to differentiate it. You said dy, du, there's y and u there. So the rate of change of y with respect to the rate of change of u is equal to, the two will drop, so we're going to have six u. There's a one there, but we don't normally indicate the one. So those are the two derivatives. We have this, we have that one. After you found the derivatives, the next thing is the next thing that you do is you apply the formula. Say dy dx is this one which we are differentiating. Is equal to du dx multiplied by dy dy du. And so after you've written this, you simply bring down this and then you plug in the values of these derivatives. dy dx du dx rather is that one so we're going to write 12 x squared plus 3 x squared multiplied by dy du is actually 6 
you. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna indicate here to say but u is equal to we get back here. U is for x raised to the power three plus x raised to the power three plus two. We will now substitute u with those elements. Let me write everything this side. So we're gonna have dy dx which is equal to 12x squared plus 3x squared times 6. What is u? u is actually 4x raised to the power 3 plus x raised to the power 3 plus 2. Let me rub out what's on top here. Oh, beautiful. So now after having done this, we can expand this. So we say dy dx is equal to 12x squared plus 3x squared. Then 6 times 4, that will be 24x raised to the power 3. Plus 6 times that, that will be 6x raised to the power 3 plus. Plus 6 times 2, that will be a 12. Okay, so if we want, we can further expand all this. This by that, 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 that by that. Then we add those uh, that will be like terms. But uh, if you leave the answer at this at this stage, nobody can penalize you. It's correct. So friends, that's how we go about differentiation of functions using the chain rule. If you've liked the video, you've been helped in one or the other, I urge you to go ahead and smash the like button. It helps with algorithms. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to share the video with as many people as you can because this actually helps some person. Thank you so much. May God richly bless you for watching the video to the end.